Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you how we remodeled our laundry room. Hey everyone, so here is our laundry room and as you can tell, it's pretty basic. It just has that wired rack right there. And if you remember in our previous home, we did remodel that laundry room and we liked how that turned out. So we wanted to do something similar here, but a little different of course. And so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna remove this wired rack right here. Then we're gonna create a cabinet here, here, and then here do some open shelving and then add a countertop here. So once we were done clearing out the laundry room, he went ahead and removed the wired rack and then he speckled the holes that that left by using this right here. And then once he was done with that, he went ahead and started building the cabinets. So we ended up buying the cabinets from Lowe's and we did a shaker style cabinet with the color gray and we really love how that turned out. The only thing that he had to do here was assemble it now in our previous laundry room if you haven't checked out that video i will link it down below for you guys but for that one we ended up buying the cabinets already made and it was just bare so we had to prime it and paint it so with that it's just more time consuming however it is cost effective so it really depends on what it is that you're looking for and what your budget is but you do have the different options so definitely look into that So once he was done building the cabinets, he brought them inside and then he started to look for the studs. So you want to make sure that you are anchoring it to the studs because it is heavy, one, and two, you are going to put additional things inside the cabinets and so it's going to make it even heavier. So um, he's using these screws right here and then all he did was attach it to the wall. So here it is, this is how it turned out. Now the next step is to do the crown molding. So here it is, he's cutting it out. And yeah, so this is one thing that we didn't do in our previous laundry room that we wish we did now that we did it for this one because we love how it came out. I think it gives it such a nice finished look to it. So I would definitely recommend adding crown molding if you can to your cabinets if you are planning to do this type of remodel. So to attach the crown molding, all he did was use a nail gun and then he went ahead and caulked the seams like you see there. And then once he was done with this, he moved on into creating the shelves. So this time around, we ended up doing floating shelves, which was our first time doing them for the laundry room because in our other laundry room, we only did like a basic shelf. So this time we wanted to do it differently. Right here, he's just cutting everything out and I will be writing down below all the measurements and all the boards that we used. So once he was done cutting the boards, he went ahead and moved into creating the support piece right here. So he used two by twos and he attached it to the wall by using the screws that he used for the cabinets and he made sure that he hit the studs. And then from here, we ended up realizing that we actually needed two by threes and not two by twos and so the only way that we could fix that was by uh, adding pieces to the two by two to create a two by three so we had these shims on hand so he cut that to size and then he attached it to the two by twos that we had there So right here are the shims that we had. We got that from Home Depot. And so he cut them all to size and then he used two pieces of these and then he just used some glue and attached it to there and then he finished it off by using a nail gun. So here is a closer look of how it looked. So uh, just to explain it again, the top piece is a two by two and we added the shims 
because we ideally needed a two by three but because we didn't have it and we already had used the two by twos and we didn't want to take it out we just ended up fixing it by adding those shims at the bottom and so that was an easy fix and we were able to do that and also we ended up doing that because we wanted the shelf to be a tight fit and not be wobbly because had we not added those shims it would have been wobbly as opposed to a tight fit and then once he fixed that he went ahead and sanded the boards down he used a 320 grid and then he stained it with this caramel nougat color which is one of our favorite stains Okay, so now comes the part where he assembles the shelf. So he is adding the glue, as you can see, and then he is gonna place the boards on top of that and then at the bottom, and then he's gonna use the nail gun to secure everything. And now the glue isn't necessary, but we like to use it. And once he was done with that, he went ahead and just added some paint to some of the parts that weren't covered by the shelves. Okay, so now that that's done, he went ahead and moved on to the top piece here that's gonna go on top of the washer and dryer. So we didn't want it to lay directly on top of the washer and dryer because we felt like that was too heavy and we were adding too much to the washer and dryer so he wanted to elevate it a little bit higher than the washer and dryer so he's creating these uh frame this piece of wood right here he's going to attach it to the sides of the washer and dryer to the wall and he's attaching it to the studs and that way when we lay the top it goes directly on like the pieces of wood is supporting it as opposed to the washer and dryer i hope that made sense and then all he had to do was lay the butcher block on top of there. And then this is how everything turned out. So the two things that I didn't get to record were the hardware and that bar underneath the shelf. We purchased that from Amazon. And then this shelf in between the washer and dryer, that little cubby, we actually built that. And I did record the process for that, but I'll be doing a separate video on that just because I didn't want this video to be too long for you guys. But I really hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Bye!